Hello, everyone. I'm Nianlong Li from Institute of Software, Chinese Academy of Sciences. Now I will present our paper, Help Linkage, Prototyping Haptic Proxies for Virtual Hand Tools Using Linkage Mechanism. In virtual reality, haptic proxies take benefits of enabling users to obtain natural haptic feedback while physically touching, using, and manipulating virtual objects. Physical proxies are expected to be easy, cheap, fast to make, can be created ad hoc and modified through the application of various haptic mappings. However, existing haptic proxies focus on entertainment and game domains, like simulations of products manipulated by hand in daily life and work, such as the car gear, scissor, and the syringe. Unfortunately, Designing diverse virtual hand tools usually requires expert-level knowledge of specific mechanism for kinetic and force rendering alike. This has barriers for novices, such as designers and makers, in creating new applications that facilitate novel interactions and rich experiences in VR. Therefore, we present Hap Linkage, a prototyping framework that allows designers to quickly design and build haptic proxies for applications that involve virtual hand tools. It adopts linkage mechanisms that enable rich motions by simple collections of rigid rows. We derived the design space for virtual hand tools from the connection of 98 existing handheld tools and props. We found that the majority of the hand tools involve four motion types, circular, curved, linear, and complex, and five force profiles, constant, incremental, decremental, released, restoring, and vibrating. Then I will introduce our framework design from these two attributes. For the motion design with linkages, we provide six linkage structure templates, including the circular, semicircular, elliptical, linear, twisted, and triangular motion for the rapid design of rich kinetic motions. A linkage route includes a snap fit joint and a turnable mechanism for effective assembling and turning process. The structure can be easily modified, for example, to scale the size or to change the range of motion by selectively changing linkage lengths. We also designed some subsidiary components that can be combined with the linkage structure to use. The hand grips, which are directly held by users, including diagonal, crank, trigger, lever, and finger taps. The base structure to fix the linkage mechanism to the ground. Some hand tools are used on the floor or desk and grasped by one hand, like paper trimmer and coffee grinder. The docking joint and the dummy grip are used for simulating several hand tools that are not fully fixed, such as knives and hacksaws. To provide haptic proxies, we designed a simple actuating module to limit, drive, restore the movement of linkage structure according to user's manipulation. The, frame, the support frame equips an encoder and a servo motor to control the angle between two associated linkage bars. We provide a variety of haptic feedback, including resistant force, by moving the cage in response to user input, stop, by proactively positioning the cage, release, by suddenly disengaging the cage, restoration force, by leveraging a rubber band and moving the cage in response to user input. Additionally, vibration feedback is generated with the linear actuator. Our framework provides a software tool for fabricating physical prototypes of virtual hand tools, which was implemented as a plugin of FreeCAD. It provides menus for importing linkage structure templates, adjusting linkage length, and simulating motion. False profiles can be selected by property type. Users can fabricate the design parts with 3D printing and assemble them to rapidly prototype hand to proxies for different VR scenarios. Then we present several virtual hand tools 
used in VR scenarios. We also conducted an expert interview by showing three expert designers slides and demo videos that explain the project. The results show that they all agreed hyperlinkage can ease the design process and enrich user experiences in VR, but they also concerned about some gap existed and the durability of the parts. Nonetheless, our paper has several limitations some of which are worth exploration in future research. Firstly, since prototyping haptic experiences is challenging for people without strong technical background, we provided simple structure templates and let electronic parts fail to reflect the tactile sensations. Secondly, the servo motors used in our current implementation may be insufficient to generate enough forces for scenarios using both hands. We need to investigate broader and more practical scenarios. Thirdly, we did evaluate the approach with structured user studies. Future work can conduct quantitative and qualitative studies to identify the impact and applicability of prototyping haptic proxies with linkage mechanisms. In addition, the development process of an actual VR application could also be integrated with prototyping. In conclusion, we presented a prototyping framework for haptic proxy design by using linkage mechanisms. It provides a set of linkage structure templates for kinetic motions, an actuating module for managing variety of haptic profiles, a software tool for designing and customizing motions, we demonstrated various VR scenarios for virtual hand tools created by the Hyperlinkage framework, and we expected that our framework will benefit haptic proxy design and the prototyping haptic interfaces. That's all my presentations. If you have any questions, please contact my email. Thank you.